um, really fine narrative preachers have honed the ability to tell stories really, really well. And they hinge on the story. They do really, really well with any narrative in the biblical text. Okay? Um, what does this look like? How do you do this? Um, how does a narrative style work? Identify the narrative in the text. So for obvious reasons, it doesn't work really well, although I've seen it, but it's really hard. It doesn't work really well with the wisdom literature. It's not great with Leviticus, okay? It's not great with um, the epistles, unless the epistles uses a story. Um, but the, any of the narratives in the text can be a narrative style sermon. Describe the background for the story. Hone your skills at telling the literary elements of the story. Identify the theological context for the story. How is God at work in the story? What does this story tell us about God and God's interaction with God's people? Uh, let me see if I can do it. Now, every year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the festival of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up as usual for the festival. Now, when the festival was ended and they started to return, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Assuming he was in the group of travelers, they went a full day's journey. Then they began to look for him among their relatives and friends. When they didn't find him, they returned to Jerusalem to search for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Child, why have you treated us like this? Look, your father and I have been searching for you in great anxiety. Jesus said to them, well, why were you searching for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. Then he went down with them and returned to Nazareth and was obedient to them. His mother treasured all these things in her heart. His mother treasured all these things in her heart. And Jesus increased, grew, in wisdom and in years and in divine and human favor. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Okay, so we have Jesus Christ as a young person. Oh, how old is he? Do you remember? How old? He's, oh, he's 12. So for the Jewish tradition, that means he's on the verge of his bar mitzvah, on the verge of being a man. Oh, and what's happening? Passover, one of the highest, holiest celebrations for the Jewish people. And so for miles around, people clear out of towns and villages to go to Jerusalem, which is the center of the whole Jewish faith, to be as close to the temple as possible during the celebration of the Passover. And Mary and Joseph and Jesus are no different. They would leave Nazareth and they would, they would move down with pilgrims from all of the north and go to the part of the valley, camp there overnight probably, and they would end up going to Jerusalem for the Passover celebration, right? And then after Passover is over, Mary and Joseph do what? They go home. But Jesus stays behind. It's sort of interesting uh, at this point, Mary and Joseph may not be up for the Parents of the Year Award. That they would, they would leave their son in Jerusalem and not know it. Uh, and so then I would keep on going and keep on telling the story, right? Um, and get to the point that uh, I love this idea of Mary treasuring all these things in her heart. And that's where, I would, that's where I would dwell. Does that make sense? It's a narrative style, done best with narratives in the text.